Hi, hello there, and my name's Drake, and this is another day on Dartmoor. And I'm speaking to you today from the forest garden. And what we've got right next to me here is a climbing frame. And it's one of the frames that I've cobbled together uh, using bits of old um, hazel uh, from, our, from our hedgerow. And um, what I actually wanted to talk to you about was really just climbing plants. And right here um, behind these sunflowers, We've got a bunch of different things going on here and we've got some uh, sweet peas coming along. I've got some uh, French beans, I've got some morning glory, I have some ground nuts and some runner beans all growing in here together. And uh, I quite like mixing things up anyway, as you've probably seen in previous videos. I think it helps protect the plants when they're a little bit mixed up. And, um, and the other thing is, is that what I wanted to um, really say about doing this kind of style of planting is that it's also an opportunity for you to see how they all work together with colour and shape and form. And to me, a great deal about gardening is the beauty of it, the enjoyment of it, the aesthetic of it, if you like. And so what I wanted to do was bring that interest in there. So I've got, with the ground nuts, I've actually got things going on in the ground that I can't even see, that's my crop. Um, but I've got these wonderful, wonderful viney plants that will grow up and just fill this entire frame if I let them. The same thing, but differently, with um, some of the beans, they're gonna crop obviously above ground. The sweet peas, it's all about the flower and color. And the morning glory, again, it's all about the color. So I want to have a mixture of different things going on here. And the question comes, when do I decide to nip out the growing tips of the climbers? And the reason for doing that is, is, is a, a couple of things really. One is that by doing that, you encourage them to um, grow from new growing points on the length of the plant itself. And that increases, uh, potentially, increases the amount of harvest or production. So in the case of um, the sweet peas, you get more flowers. In the case of the beans, you'll get more growing tips where that means that the plant will be bigger. And yes, and you'll get more beans. So this is why it's really good to do it. And the other reason to do it is really to keep it within a manageable height so you can reach to do your harvest. And also you might want to control the growing habits of some of the plants um, by nipping them out or letting them go and then nipping them out. Now these have all been growing in the ground for about a month. And so they've got to, um, um, well, some of them are actually nearly a meter high. And to me, that's, that's the top of the time climbing frame. And I really need to start getting in action around nipping out some of these. So I'm just gonna just turn, just get move you around here. Cause what you see here is actually um, some sweet pea. And as you can see, it's all coming into flower at the moment. We've actually had quite a good harvest of them already. And um, but what I'm gonna do, if you can see here, here's a growing tip. So that's the last true leaf that's growing up here. And then you've got the growing point, which is just below it here. And what all I'm going to do is literally just snap that off. So I've taken that off. And this will mean that further down, if you look at this plant further down, you can see little leaves growing out at these little nodal points on the plant. And that will actually throw up another um, um, stem to this climbing plant. And that's what you really want to be encouraging. And it'll happen lower down as well, down here. Another one will get thrown up and that will come out here. So the whole thing is starting to bush out. Next door to it, I've got a, a climbing bean. And the, here's the growing tip of the climbing bean. It's right down here and it's a, a wee little thing down there. And I'm just gonna nip the tip of that out. So you can see that's a, that's a tiny little tiny little uh, growing tip that I'm taking out. And again, that will cause that to bush out. And I'll take you a, a little bit further around and you can see actually here on this plant over here. So there, again, this is a um, sweet pea and this is one that I nipped out once before and you can see these are, these are fresh growing tips. So this is starting to bush out. So yeah, so that's really all I um, wanted to say about it. 
and uh, I hope you have a really great day and again if there's anything you want to know about gardening wise any anything you're coming across as the as your season progresses then please drop me a note and I'll see if I can discuss that in a future video okay so thanks very much thank you for listening and have a great day bye bye